beautiful Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for the end of October right through to the end of November 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I will also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. beautiful Scorpio this is your singles love reading I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome um, but just to let you know um, that during this period that I'm reading for you will be influenced by your first house and your seventh house and your first house is all about your identity who you feel you are uh, you may be a little bit more concerned about your looks than usual um, it's not all about aesthetics of course but you may just be a little bit more um, noticing uh, things about yourself uh, a little bit more than usual okay um, and your seventh house is activated as well and that will be all about love okay that's at the midpoint of November you'll be focusing a little bit more on partnerships love relationships so you may be focusing a little bit more on trying to get yourself out there to meet uh, new people or to connect to a love connection okay so let us see what is happening for you in terms of your overarching energy regarding singles love well, well, right now you're in a period of manifestation. This is the Magician card. And it's very important. It's actually number one in the major arcanas. And of course, your first house is activated. So it's important to remember what you think about, you bring about, okay? Uh, they keep giving me the word manifestation, manifestation. And I know it's on that card and I know you can't see it in the water. I'm scrying at the same time. And it's very unusual for me to actually get the 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 word that's on the card in the water and they're just giving it to me like it's almost like it's starting like manifestation 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 that's how I'm seeing uh, the word so it keeps coming up so remember whatever it is you're thinking about you're bringing about whatever your focus is on this is the thing, the, the area of your life that will grow. So for example, if you've been manifesting, uh, you know, a lot to do with your career and that has been your primary focus, then that is a thing that you are nourishing in your world, okay? But as we move into your seventh house energy, uh, that's when you're going to start a little bit more focusing on love and looking at the experiences you've had in love, how they've influenced your journey to date because you've got the uh, chariot card here, which is all about your journey. And I feel like you are closing out cycles, cycles that um, may have robbed you of your confidence, that may have made you feel like you were um, less than you truly are. Uh, they uh, Cycles that you felt you gave away your power because I see you manifesting uh, your power back. I see you actually sort of um, focusing more on your needs and not being an over giver, okay? Um, with the manifestation card, and this is so, uh, I wish I'd called it before I actually um, came to this reading because I don't look at the cards until I absolutely have to and then touch them. I'm, norm I'm always pretty much normally looking in the water for images and energy and I'm channeling at the same time so I'm getting messages from my guides to sort of give to you in the moment and I wish I'd called it before I've looked at the card properly because they were actually giving me an image before I came to this reading. I do a little meditation. They were showing me um, it's one eye looking out, okay? One eye looking out. Now I know there's two eyes there, but they really help making me focus on this one eye. And there's going to be some sort of image that you see that is only uh, involving one eye, okay? Uh, this is a symbol for you to look out for. And it signifies a change in your love life. 
So this could be that you see a poster and you know there's like a keyhole or something and there's just one eye peeping through the keyhole. It could also be like a, an image of like the all-seeing eye. You see it on a billboard. It's just one eye. Okay, they're just showing me one eye. But I mean, spiritually, symbolically, it can mean someone already has their eye on you. And I will pull some cards on that, of course. But they're showing me it as a sign or a symbol uh, that you're going to see an image that involves only one eye. I mean, it could be a, it could be a, a movie scene, for example, that pops up after this YouTube video, for example. And, you know, there's like one eye looking out. Um, it's a symbol that is going to indicate there's change in your love relationships, okay? So I want you to be aware of that. Um, also with this manifestation card, I'm getting this energy of, you know, you are um, magnetic at this time. You are actually empowering yourself. Your confidence is the key to attracting love. And if you've gone through a difficult journey when it comes to love, I feel like you're rebuilding your confidence. But most importantly, the, man, uh, the, the magician card reminds you whatever it is you are trying to attract or whatever it is you um, are, you know, focusing on this time at this time, you're attracting it. Okay, so they want you to be aware of that. You have a lot of potential to meet love in the next four to five weeks is what they're showing me. Um, now also, um, they won't let me let this card go. Um, you know, it came up in another reading as well. Um, pyramids are important. Um, now I'm not sure if it was a Scorpio reading uh, for career perhaps a couple of weeks, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm going to have to look it up, to be honest. There was something about pyramids. So either this person uh, has a, a connection to Egypt, perhaps. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, Egyptian pyramids. It could be Mayan pyramids, but they're actually showing me uh, Egyptian pyramids. There's something to do with pyramids. So it can mean that you, for example, go on a date with a person to a museum, and there are artifacts that perhaps came from a uh, pyramid. So please, there's some sort of connection with pyramids, okay, uh, is what they're showing me. And it's not because it's come up in the card. It did come up. That's two images. I wish I'd called it. Sometimes I kick myself in the you know what, because I feel, you know, um, I, I see the images in the meditation. And unless I see them again in the water when I'm scrying, I don't mention them in case they are images just for me. But it's coming up. I mean, the first card is literally what I was seeing. Only I was seeing like an eye like that in uh, the meditation. And of course, the pyramids showed up too. But um, I'm going to leave that there. That's obviously going to be very precise. But these could be images, signs, symbols that your guides are trying to give you to sort of indicate that love is coming your way. You're manifesting it. So do not give up on love because I'm getting a strong energy from my beautiful Scorpios out there of um, almost like focusing on other things because you've nearly given up on love. Part of you, there's like a little candle that's still burning. And my guides are actually pointing me right now saying that there is a pillar of light coming from the candle. Now, I can't see one. They're indicating it's like a tower of light that is coming from the candle. I'm going to have to look back on the... Um, on the video to see if that is actually happening. I can't see that. Um, so, but they're giving that to me. It's almost like they want you to see the light. They want you to believe and have faith in love. Um, so because you may have decided that perhaps it's not coming for you or um, you wish that it's coming, but right now um, you can't see that happening. So uh, anyway, I'm going to move on from that energy. Uh, we've also got the integration card, which is the world card. Now in the resistance position, my beautiful Scorpio, there's something that has been playing out in your life that perhaps has been going round and round in circles. Now, this could be with a person that it, you have not, uh, there's unfinished business, let's put it that way. So I'm going to pull a quick card on that just to see if there's someone from your uh, life that you've had some sort of dealings with already, if they're making a comeback into your life, or if this is some sort of cycle that you're trying to close out. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide the death card? You're trying to close something out. Um, the Scorpio card of death. You're trying to end things that are in play you're trying to find balance you're trying to the moon card uh, something that was very uncertain that went round and round in circles this could be with a person um that played out uh, you know i feel like you're trying to get clarity on the situation um but i feel it, it was very confusing time with you and this person you're trying to let this go 
because you feel perhaps that it is in some way influenced the way you operate in love going forward. I feel like it may have made you feel uh, less expressive, um, keeping yourself a little bit more hidden um, because, and this doesn't mean you want that person back. Uh, the integration card can mean that you're trying to find that harmony in your life, accomplish your goal to find love that you feel, um, you know, safe to express yourself, that you can be your wonderful, intense, passionate, uh, playful, uh, exciting self. But you may have uh, experienced some sort of love situation where you felt like you could not express yourself in that way, or you feel in some way um, that you're always walking on eggshells, or after the experience, um, if you went through a very difficult breakup or a bad breakup or you were involved in a toxic cycle with someone because the world card is all about cycles. I feel like you're trying to close that cycle out because it's led to a lot of confusion and you're trying to use your intuition to sort of really get closure on that because that world card is there for a reason. Something you haven't quite got closure on. Now, it doesn't mean, as I said, you want the person from the past. It can mean that there is an experience that you have had that has left um, a untrustful, perhaps, um, sort of, you know, some sort of trust issue, some sort of untrustful energy, or um, because as you see the death card there, that person is like beside themselves. They're feeling really stuck. And I feel you're trying to liberate yourself from something that perhaps has held you back or prevented you from really sort of um, opening up your beautiful heart. Uh, if we get hurt, heartbroken uh, in you know an experience, uh, the first thing human nature is to shut down, put a uh, you know put your heart away and close it off to any further discomfort or hurt or difficulty. So you may have in some way um, been very guarded because of a previous experience and you're trying to rather than uh, get I feel like you're trying to get full closure on the past but I feel more than anything you're trying to open yourself up that's what I'm feeling you're trying to um you, you're trying to meet someone where you feel like it's safe to say hey this is me this is my wonderful passionate quirky deep intense self take me as I am because Scorpio, you do not exist on the surface in relationships. You're always the deep diver. You're the person who wants to get to the heart of the emotions. You're the person who merges with your uh, counterpart. And I feel like uh, it's been a long time coming that you've met someone worthy to go that deep with. Okay, And that's not an egotistical thing. I feel like it's a protective measure where you're wondering, can I trust love again? Okay, because the moon card is a card of fear. It's a card of anxiety, but it's also a card of using your intuition. So um, there, I feel like there's something here where you're like, how do I know it's fully over? How? And I don't mean with the person. I feel like it's it's like, how do I know if I go into a new love connection that, um, you know, um, uncertainty will not arise again how will I know that this is the person how will I because I feel like you thought the last person or the last experience was the person and therefore you're questioning I feel like you're in a period of questioning uh, we've got the uh, outcome as the empowerment card this is uh, you going through painful cycles coming out the other end um, more uh, with more strength but also more understanding of who you are what you want will you what you will uh, accept and what you will not accept this is the chariot card which means you're moving away from any difficult energy and you're manifesting success in your love life okay the chariot card is about going on the journey of life again going on the journey of love again and you've transformed because of it Scorpio you are always a sign uh, where you're transforming uh, revamping how you feel about things um, because you're always someone who is reassessing you're not the sort of person to get stuck in one sort of port of thinking you're always the sort of person who is like seeing things from the other side or the other side of the fence so that you can get a balanced view of things so I feel like you're actually uh, right now making major changes in your life in order to move forward because you're sick of being in a stagnant energy when it comes to love okay so I definitely see you moving um, away from any sort of situations that keep you hanging or leave you uncertain or confused i definitely see you moving on you've evolved and um for some of you you're going traveling or you're thinking about traveling there's something here about um now before i pull um you know the um next cards 
Um, there's something that came up in the meditation that is coming up now again, which is um, someone is going to invite you to an event or to something that requires a ticket. Now, there is romance surrounding this experience. So it could either be the person who is inviting you has some sort of romantic intention, or it can mean that if, for example, your friend is inviting you or a family member is inviting you, then you are going to have an opportunity to find a romantic attraction at that experience. It involves a ticket. Now, this could be to do with travel because we've got the travel card there. Uh, so if you're taking a quick trip away for your birthday month, perhaps, or it's an event, um, something that you require a ticket to get into or to travel to. OK, and this experience, someone may say something like um, let's synchronize diaries or th they're going to mention a diary. OK, that's what I'm, I'm getting. So um, please watch out for that. Uh, I mean, it could literally be a work colleague who says, hey, Scorpio, are you free next Friday? Um, you know, put it in your diary. Let's go out for a drink for your birthday or something like that. It's going to be a really flippant thing. There is either more to it. That person has a romantic intention or you will find romance at that particular event or experience. OK, so um, that's what I'm picking up there. Now I'm doing a Celtic cross for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What's going on here? Can you please guide them regarding their love relationships? What's um, What do they need to know regarding love? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful single Scorpios out there? Uh, what are they um, manifesting at this time? What do they need to know about love? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide? Um, I don't want to speak too soon, my beautiful Scorpio, but uh, it's kind of looking good. But I, I, as I said, I don't want to speak too soon. You know, um, oh, I knew it. Six of Cups. Someone that you already have been connected to at some stage is thinking about you. But that's not the outcome. I mean, that's not the be all and end all. OK, um, they have uh, romantic intentions for you. Um, I'm just going to go one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide Seven of Cups? Okay, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of clarifying there at the end because it looks like you have a choice when it comes to love. You have some options coming on in, um, but there's someone in your energetic sphere who's already thinking about you, attracted to you, and sort of wanting to, um, I feel like you want to close out a cycle with this person, but this is something that goes round and round in circles, okay? Uh, it's showing up in your energetic sphere, so uh, I have to talk about it, but I won't dwell on it because, of course, this is a singles um, sort of um, reading. Now, this is the heart of the matter, my beautiful Scorpio. You always put the effort into love, okay? The Page of Pentacles also indicates that you are someone who is uh, very grounded. You're looking for someone who puts in the amount of effort in love that you do. Now, I've struggled with this myself in the past. We can never truly sort of measure our um, sort of effort that we put in with another person and expect that they will do the same as us. Unfortunately, that leaves us coming up short. When we have expectations of other people, and we sort of, um, you know, measure it against the effort that we put into things, of course, you know, sometimes we get disappointed. So it's important to remember that. That doesn't mean that there isn't a new person coming into your life that's going to put all the effort in. There is. I see a King of Pentacles energy here, someone who's got strong earth in their chart, who is looking for a high level commitment and they are all in. So I definitely see love headed in your direction, okay? Um, but I also see this energy of you being a primary overgiver in your relationships. So do remember that when you meet someone, whilst it is wonderful and passionate and intense, and you only see that person, because Scorpios, uh, you know, it's sometimes a positive trait, but it's also sometimes a negative trait. I'm always going to be honest with you. I'm Scorpio myself, so I do understand what my guides are giving me right now. Sometimes us Scorpios, we tend to have a bit of tunnel vision, okay? Especially when it comes to uh, the person we are in love with. You know, there's a certain element of idolization 
of uh, you know passion obsession that sort of thing and whilst that is wonderful it makes the other person feel like they're the only sort of loved up person in the world sometimes it can sort of skew the balance a little bit because we'll remember when we have put someone on the pedestal we've raised them above any other romantic uh, opportunities that we have for example we choose that one that we are in love with and this is across the board um, you know we raise them up and we put them a little bit higher than ourselves so we unintentionally will don't even realize it but we unintentionally raise them up above ourselves and it can knock our confidence when you know things start to go out of balance so just be mindful of that that's something that's coming up here in the reading for you page of pentacles also indicates my beautiful scorpio a lot of you've been focusing on work 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 a lot of your energy has been going into your goals and whilst that is wonderful of course it's important to make some time for love okay so i see you shifting especially since your seventh house is activated i see you shifting your focus a little bit more onto wanting to attract love and being a little bit more serious about manifesting Manifesting it as well and not just manifesting it I see you they're actually giving me the word juggling so juggling making adjustments in your life uh, you know multitasking to find opportunities to put yourself out there and focus a little bit more on attracting love okay uh, page of Pentacles also does indicate that you are ready to give you are ready to offer uh, you know love you are someone who's very realistic or you, you've learned to be very realistic about love because of the experiences that you've had it's almost like I see my beautiful Scorpios sometimes daring to dream about having this wonderful passionate exciting love because you've experienced something like this in the past but because you may have been hurt in the past or you've been healing from something something has changed you that's for sure I'm just getting your overarching energy something has changed you when you look or how you operate in love and because of that I feel like you're a little bit more cautious about giving your wonderful self okay um, now the page of Pentacles also indicates that some of you are thinking you're beginning again you're starting over you've been cultivating yourself you've been preparing the way to um, you know find a love that has good habits good intentions uh, is healthy for you so I feel like you've been doing a lot of personal work and as you can see there there is um, you know this sort of skeletal um, sort of snake there so I feel like you're in a cycle of change something is ending something new is beginning okay pages tend to bring news as well so I feel like you will be messaging someone over the next four to five weeks and there is a romantic intention there with whatever this messaging is so this is either from someone you know already um, or this is someone uh, that you're about to meet so let's uh, go a little bit deeper and find out we got the lovers card it is your crossing card so this is you know what is the problem okay the lovers card is there and that indicates that there has been some sort of separation this is the card that tells me there's been some sort of separation that you've experienced in the past where you felt either you made a bad choice or you trusted someone and they broke your your trust this is a card of you sort of being hesitant having options I mean Scorpio you turn heads all the time you just don't see it or you see them and they're just not the one because you will know instinctively even I always say this about my beautiful Scorpio is you could be in a room of like a million people who, who are all uh, very attractive got great jobs got great you know sort of um, you know, intentions and sort of they're really interested in a relationship and they're investing from the very beginning and you will see that one person who is right at the back behind a pillar um, you know you can't quite see them but you can see a part of them and instinctively you know that person that is the one over 999 you know all of all those people you see that one person who's at the back and you go that's the one and you know so I feel like you are very discerning about the um, energy that you give out and the love that you connect to and that's why it's so painful when um, you've been so discerning and you let someone in and then it does not go the way you had intended it to or hoped it to so there's something here about that about an experience um, uh, regarding love now if you've never been in a relationship before this can be that you've had a lot of difficulty uh, sort of connecting to someone that you believe is a counterpart uh, you've not had an opportunity to find a soulmate um, 
Now with the lover's card in this position, it tells me also that there has been um, some sort of experience that has led you to be uh, cautious or guarded with your heart um, and that you do openly want a partnership. You have a lot of deep love to offer and you believe that there is someone out there for you. Um, but I get that there's not many that go to the depths that you go to when it comes to love. Okay, I just get this energy of... Now, now this is a small portion. Also, they show me a padlock in the water as well. So it's almost like, how do I know it's for keeps? That's what I keep getting. Or how do I know if I'm secure in this love relationship? So this may be a fear that you've got. I mean, humans, we're all kind of similar in some ways. We all have the same sort of fears. And some people, depending on their experiences, allow those fears to subconsciously influence the way they operate in love relationships. Um, with the lover's card in this position, it does indicate you are attracting love. You are moving through all of these difficulties and a soulmate is on the way. A deep connection. Someone who is intense. There's something about this person's eyes. They keep bringing me the eye and eyes. Lots of eyes in the water. Something, it's in this person's eyes. As soon as you meet this person, it's instant connection. So this could be a surprise connection that you have with somebody new. Or if it's someone who... Um, invites you to this event or whatever this is that they keep showing me, uh, there is romantic intention, okay? Um, I, as I said, I will clarify that at the end. We've got the Two of Cups. You're manifesting a love relationship. There is a union on the horizon for you. This is a romantic partnership uh, that will lead to a high level commitment, um, even you know marriage if that's what you're hoping for. This is a card of um, not just love because love sometimes is not enough. Okay, someone said that to me once many years ago, love is just not enough. And I thought, what? Love is the answer. What are you talking about? Of course, love is enough. But actually, the more I dis dissected that, love really is not enough because there has to be understanding with it as well. And I feel this union that you're calling in right now that you're attracting brings understanding. You're finally going to be seen by a person uh, for who you truly are, my beautiful Scorpio, and they're going to love all parts of you when you get this card, especially when we've got the lover's card there as well. So you're attracting a soulmate, but the lover's card tells me that in the next four to five weeks, you have a choice. So I do feel because you've got a six of cups there and a seven of cups, this tells me you've got a choice, but there's also someone that you're already that you have already been linked to in the past that has romantic feelings for you. Now, this does not have to be an ex, okay? This can be someone you went to college with and you're invited to a reunion and you see that person and it never really got off the ground, but both of you had some sort of um, frizz on with each other. There's a chemistry between each other. Now is the time. It's all about divine timing, okay? It's important to realize timing is important. So um, the Two of Cups indicates that there is an attraction going on between you and a person, and you have a choice between who you connect to. So um, I'm just gonna pull a quick card on that Two of Cups, okay? Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? The Seven of Pentacles. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Three of Pentacles. You have a choice. Yeah, so there's, it's like you and two others. I see you having a choice. Some of you, the High Priestess. Uh, this person, one of the people may uh, be a strong Virgo. I mean, three of cups. They give me all the threes, Scorpio. Okay, so they're in, basically, when you get the seven of pentacles, it's like, where do I invest my time? What is worth it? Which relationship is worth it? And if you've had an experience with someone in the past and it was not worth it, I don't feel like you're going to invest in that again. Um, the high priestess indicates uh, trust in your intuition and that the knowledge is deep within you. I feel like, you meet somebody new connected to your friends, okay? Uh, you're going to be in a group of people uh, when you meet this new person. And I feel like you do have a choice. There's someone who exists here already, someone that you already invested in, and they want to tell you the truth of how they feel, the justice card. The justice card indicates weighing up options as well. So with that two of cups, I just keep getting this energy of you having more than one option when it comes to love. And... I feel this is something that you will, 
you know some people are like oh wow that's gonna be great I'm really gonna enjoy that I feel like you don't really enjoy that because it's like a conundrum over I see it's like one of the options it's like what if if only things could have worked out differently with this person and then there was someone new and I feel like you're kind of like do I go with the person I've known or do I go with some new energy with the page of Pentacles deep down I feel like you want new okay so that's what I'm picking up on now I'm not really going to mention the uh, the person from the past until such time as I get to the end okay now with the Empress card this is in your past and this is a, a card of some of you feeling like um, you're confident you were very confident in the past or you've been building your confidence ever since there's something here with this card being in the past where you may even feel like um, you're getting older and the opportunities for love are getting slimmer is what I feel but that's not the case I want you to be aware that is not the case um, you've made I feel like the experiences you've had in love were to make certain lifestyle choices to honor yourself and value yourself um, more okay to build that confidence um, now some of you may have had children um, or you are uh, sort of like um, wanting to have children you may feel like time is running out um, you're going to meet the right person and I feel that you're going to move on from any difficulties when it comes to love the Empress card is all about value uh, becoming a healthier version of yourself and that's what you are doing or have been doing and I feel this is the reason you are going to be attracting more love opportunities because you have more confidence in yourself okay I feel you're someone who's very mysterious we got the high priestess energy there you're someone who sometimes can be misconstrued when it comes to love people don't really see you they don't really understand you sometimes they see your intensity they see your depth and they always feel like you've got like secrets because you're so mysterious and of course you you've got some secrets we all have but they're not the sort of secrets that you're like <clears throat> you know um hiding the fact that you got married uh, three times and you've got five children and you know you've also got a lover somewhere else you're not hiding those sort of secrets uh, I feel like sometimes people misconstrue your um, mystery okay you're enigmatic and you know we should not always sort of like expose who we are first off because that gets boring um, in order to be in a committed long-term relationship that's exciting and keeps things fresh you should be always discovering new things about your partner uh, so that it becomes something of a lifelong journey together so <clears throat> I know we live in a society right now where everything needs to be fast-tracked we want everything we want it now you know where's the mystery we've got to sort of allow that to flow organically within the relationship but most importantly I feel like you're realizing how attractive you are aesthetically but also in terms of inwards uh, you know that that beautiful heart you have uh, now the Empress energy also can be very mothering okay so I feel like you have always been the person who uh, gives the care you're the caregiver in the relationship yes you're sexy yes you're passionate yes you're deep and intense and magnetic and all of those wonderful things but once you really allow a person in you care about them and you nurture them um, to the highest of your ability so sometimes you can be a person who can over give in your energy so your guides want you to watch that make sure it's in balance allow the other person to come to you and show you that they love you allow the other person to care for you yes you're wonderfully independent my beautiful Scorpio but allow a person in in order to sh let them show you that they have intentions you know sometimes and it's not a game but sometimes we got to work for love we got to show the other person that you know they are worth the effort and with the page of Pentacles there it indicates it's time to allow a person to show you the effort because you put a lot of effort into love in the first place now it's time for you to allow um, love to show you that you are worth it okay uh, now the Knight of Swords indicates uh, you know um, how things are changing the potential there is someone actually coming in quite quickly the Knight of Swords is um, you know a, a very fast energy it does mean in the next four to five weeks you will be talking to someone new okay um, swords are all about communication they're about ideas I feel like you're meeting someone as a meeting of minds uh, they're actually giving me a song right now Uh, 
Um, okay, okay. So let me just, sometimes it feels like I've hurt enough. It's time to let the sunlight in. Put it out there. Put it out there. Show them what's within. Show them what's beneath your skin. <laughs> okay, that's a very... Wow, that I'm gonna have to look that song up. That is beautiful. I wish you could hear the, 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 the music that goes with that. It's not my typical sort of sound that I listen to. Uh, but it's a very beautiful song. Um, I, I, there's some songs I do know, some I don't. I don't know that one, I'm afraid. Um, I'm gonna have to look it up, but the lyrics are poetic and um, they're indicating through that song that perhaps you associate love with pain in some way and that it's it's time it's time for you to open yourself up to love um easier said than done i know my beautiful scorpio i struggle with that myself for many years um but this indicates this card with that song indicates things are changing you've been making lifestyle changes so i feel like you are ready to meet someone new now the energy that i've got coming in we've got some strong gemini energy uh we've got some very strong earth energy taurus virgo capricorn we've also got a little bit of water going on as well pisces cancer scorpio um with this card i'm also getting a little bit of libra aquarius so i feel like this is someone who's very intelligent who's coming on in this is someone new new energy entering the mix someone's very intelligent someone who's very passionate they've got a different lifestyle than you this person may have um a very sort of like um they've got a very interesting lifestyle uh this person is uh very different um than the usual types that you may go for uh doesn't mean that they're not going to be close to your usual type but i just get this energy of them being different they stand out from the crowd this person is different and um long conversations long into the night very intense connection um <clears throat> Now, either you meet this person traveling, as I said, or you're given a ticket to something and you meet this person at an event. They're showing me the ticket again. Yeah, this person is very bold, okay? Um, as in, they have the courage to tell you how they feel. They're very brave, this person. Uh, this person has also struggled in life. Um, they've had to fight for everything that they, uh, they've sort of won or accumulated in life. So they don't take things for granted. They appreciate the moment. Is what they're showing me with this new person okay but uh very deep conversations with this person um i feel like they've got strong very very strong water in their chart so they may be another scorpio uh or they have pisces cancer energy um they're very emotional uh not too emotional i just get this energy of them you know being comfortable with their sensitivity uh that's someone you're attracting there's someone new coming on in and you're going to be messaging each other back and forth in the near future, we've got the Nine of Cups. This is a wish fulfilled. Suddenly, you're getting what you truly desire in love. And you may even feel, how can I trust it? Because the High Priestess energy tells me that there are some trust issues there, um, that uh, you um, tend to be quite reserved in your energy or a little bit guarded. And they're showing me this keyhole like... Um, keeping yourself to yourself and not letting everybody in. So I get this energy when you first meet this person, you're going to enjoy the moment, but I feel part of you is going to question, how can I trust this? So I'm just going to pull a quick card. I mean, the nine of cups says you're going to get a wish fulfilled. You're going to be satisfied and content in love. This is a card of the good life. It is success, reaching your goal, being wild and free and that transformation I feel like you're meeting a person who is worth their weight in gold when it comes to love. Finally, you're hitting the jackpot. Four of Cups. Just when you're feeling fed up, Four of Cups is like, um, you know, feeling unfulfilled. I feel like you've been let down in love or you've been feeling unfulfilled in love. This is a surprise gift. So when you get this card, this is a high indication. Don't be looking at the past. Okay, don't be looking at all the things that could go wrong. Look at what the opportunity is in front of you and embrace um, a gift that is being given from the universe because not everybody is going to be the same. Not everybody's going to treat you in the same way. Uh, just because you may have been hurt in the past about something else uh, or with somebody else does not mean you're going to um, experience the same thing in a new relationship, okay? Um, 
because I'm just getting this energy and please don't shoot the messenger when I say this and this may not resonate with everyone I'm just getting this energy of someone asking am I cursed when it comes to love is that am, am, am I cursed I just keep getting this energy the answer is no okay you are meant to go through a certain set of lifestyle changes in order to empower yourself and you came to this lifetime with a mission my beautiful Scorpio okay uh, four cups as you can see this person uh, looking all at things that were not satisfying so you may have even felt like there's no opportunities or nobody who's attracting you at this time and you're like well how can I find love suddenly the universe provides okay there is a love coming your way that you're you know it is divinely sent and it is a soulmate energy um, now this is your advice to yourself in this moment use your intuition or connect to your spiritual gifts some of you may be asking for answers or signs or omens from your guides how do I know or please guide me to the love that I truly deserve and desire um, the high priestess is also a card of um, you being very intense and sort of you live a very rich inner life okay and not everybody gets access to that inner life unless they're in the inner circle so I feel like you have a lot of knowledge you're, you're very um, you've got a lot of wisdom and I feel like part of you is trying to have faith that love will arrive um, now you do have mystical vision my beautiful Scorpio a lot of you are psychic out there as soon as you meet this new person you will know okay you will know uh, they're also showing me an image right now in the water of a wolf's head uh, they just show me the, 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 the not the full body of a wolf uh, they just show me wolf's head now I don't know if you heard all the the cars sort of um, beeping their horns outside as well uh, I take that as confirmation of an image that you're going to see now this could be like for example uh, if you meet this new person uh, they may have a wolf's head sort of like uh, ornament in their car or because you've got the chariot card there as well um, wolf's head could be important as a symbol of finding your path when it comes to love so some of you may be sitting listening to this reading right now and you've got an ornament that is a wolf's head and you're like wow I can see it right now this is a symbol from your guides that things are going to change you're finding your path because wolves are pathfinders you're going to find your path when it comes to love could also mean that you meet up with this uh, new love and they've got a wolf tattoo uh, head of a wolf or uh, they have like a car or a motorcycle or something that has um, a wolf on it maybe even a purse with a wolf on it so please take it as it resonates uh, they're just showing me that right now okay um, with the high priestess and we're seeing the nest there I feel like you are ready to settle down my beautiful Scorpio I feel like you're ready for nesting and I feel a lot of you have been sort of um, looking at things that did not work and trying to resolve issues within yourself you feel like it is time to open yourself up to another person I get this energy this desire to sort of merge with this card because the high priestess you know she is a solitary entity uh, that is silent uh, you know um, is very uh, introspective and I feel like you've been on your own for a while um, I get this energy of you know you're very peaceful on your own just because you're in a solitary energy looking for love does not mean you're lonely I don't get that at all but I feel like you are connecting to your spiritual gifts focusing on your goals and preparing the way for the one now we have the king of Pentacles this is the external circumstances and this indicates that there is someone coming into your energetic sphere male or female not a gender specific reading it's all about the energy but there's someone who wants to invest in a future with you headed in your direction okay so this could be a very strong Taurus energy doesn't have to be those placements don't have to be Sun Moon or rising that could be in other areas of their chart but this is someone who is uh, mature enough to know what they want in life they want to settle down and they will make the effort now if you apply the page of Pentacles and the king of Pentacles in terms of effort you're going to meet someone who is really going to try and win you over they're going to put more effort into the relationship than you are at the first because I feel like you do not trust easily so you're not I feel like you're a little bit guarded when you meet this new person but this person won't let that sort of um, put them off I feel like they want to break down the walls in order to get to know you I feel like this person this new person wants to get to know you they want to get to know all the ins and outs of you okay not in a weird way if you're not interested in this person you know of course uh, this is not your person as I said as soon as you have eye-to-eye -eye contact with this new person you will know this is the one it's in their eyes it's in your eyes and it's like they're just giving me lightning bolts between two hearts 
they just show me two hearts and a lightning bolt going back and forth, back and forth. So I feel like you both feel that electricity between you in the heart space, in the heart chakra, okay? Um, so definitely someone who is coming on in uh, to have a high level commitment with you. Now, a hope and a fear, Queen of Swords. You are super independent. You're self-sufficient. You don't need anybody. You want to attract somebody. But part of you has been that kind of maybe even a lone wolf for a while, my beautiful Scorpio. And the Queen of Swords indicates you, you know, you will uh, have a wonderful conversation with somebody, uh, but very guarded. Okay. The Queen of Swords, she turns her pe uh, back to the past, which is wonderful, embraces the future, is a visionary, but is very blunt. OK, so I feel part of you is kind of like, look, I'm looking for this. If you're not looking for this, you're going to waste my time. So I feel like there's an, an energy here of you being um, very direct when you meet this new person and guarded. I do feel this energy of guardedness. OK, um, but I feel like there is a meeting of minds um, now. I know, I know everyone's going to shoot the messenger when I say this, but I got to be honest. Okay. What I'm picking up on here is there's a little test that I feel you're going to put this new person through. Okay. Um, now it's not a test to see if I just get this energy of you testing this person because you're so protective of your beautiful heart. I don't see this as something that even perhaps you're aware of doing. I hope that makes sense. Um, maybe it doesn't make sense. It's almost like, because I see you pushing this person a little bit away at first. I feel like it's a bit of a test where you take a step back. Now, of course, there's that, um, sometimes I say it's a cliche, but actually I'm a Scorpio myself and I've done it myself, so I can't say it's really a cliche. There's this energy of you taking a step back and going off grid to think about what's next when you meet this new person and they feel like they're being tested and you're like, I need to work things out in your head, in your heart. It's not, see, I feel like you're not really testing them. You're not going, I'm going to test this person. I feel like you're like, whoa, I need time to think because I feel like it's a major addition to your life, this new love. Okay. Um, and it's also a major step in terms of trust. So we got another horn there. Um, so I feel with the Queen of Swords, um, I feel there's just this little test that comes, okay, uh, from you. Um, also, the fear here, I feel it's like, how can I trust this person? It's like, will they be honest? Because I feel like you you just want someone who honestly knows what they want in life and knows where they're going when it comes to love. Um, now, there's no guarantees in love, of course, ever, but, you know, at least from the very beginning, I just get this energy of you wanting a pure love relationship that it's almost like it does what it says on the can. You're like, I'm looking for a long-term relationship. What's so wrong about that? Nothing. And then the other person is kind of like, well, I'm the same. So, you know, you may have met pers people in the past that are like, man, let's just see where it goes. I'm not really sure. Let's not put a label on it. You know, I'm not seeing this with this new person. I see someone who is very intent on having a high level commitment. And they want to invest in the future. Now, what I do know is that the Hierophant is telling me you have a high level commitment coming on in for you. The Hierophant is the card of marriage. So I definitely see a relationship um, sort of blossoming into something more permanent. Um, the Hierophant also indicates your faith has taught you, um, you know, to open up to love, but has also taught you to notice red flags in love. And I feel, I mean, look at this Hierophant, even this Hierophant, it's the first card I've ever seen the Hierophant have three faces. So again, I get this energy for you, my beautiful Scorpio, that you have a choice. Which direction will you go in? Okay, because the Hierophant, We've got the, the snake climbing the um, sort of staff that she's got there. Snakes are all about revitalizing energy, rejuvenation, about new cycles, entering new cycles. So I feel like you're ready for change when it comes to love. 
but we've also got a six of cups which is nostalgia it's about you know uh, experiences from the past so it doesn't mean that you want that person from the past it means that in some way it may influence your situation so I feel like um, this is a card of your your generosity of your love um, also, I get this energy of, you know, the universe providing a gift. You're going to get a message. When you get the Six of Cups, it's normally a message from your past. But it comes with a um, an important thing to think about, which is don't live in the past because nothing changes in the past. We can only change the present moment. We can learn from the past, and the Hierophant is a card of learning as well. So we can learn from the past, but don't stay there because it will keep us stuck and it will prevent us from embracing opportunity and um, you know change in the present moment that will, of course, influence the future. So uh, I'm going to pull a quick card on that Six of Cups for you because I do feel like you're going to get a message from someone that you haven't seen for a long time. Now, as I said, it doesn't have to be an X. Eight of Swords. Uh, this is in the reverse. Sorry, uh, this is in the upright. I'm only taking uprights from this deck. I've already uh, decided that. Eight of Swords is like, you don't see this coming, okay? You're like, no, Bubba, no. This person is never going to reach out. No way. Not in a month of Sundays. But they're reaching out. The lovers. This person, this is one of your choices. This is a person who is still harboring feelings for you. They cannot let you go. Um, now, when you first were with this person or connected to this person, it felt like it was not the right time. Uh, a lot happened there, whether it was that you both had romantic feelings for each other and it never really got explored, or whether it is something that you got connected to, a lover, and, you know, um, it, it was, it's almost like they're showing me it was not a lucky time for you at this with this person at that time it's almost like luck was not on the side of this union at the time so i feel like this person they still love you they cannot let you go um they think about you all the time you're not going to see this person sort of reaching out but they surprise you okay um now we've also got the seven of cups which indicates opportunities too many choices commitment issues which one shall i choose okay uh, so let me just clarify that seven of cups for you uh, we got the sun so they're indicating that there is a choice that you will really be happy with, okay? Um, the Sun card is about relationships blossoming. Uh, it is about good times. I mean, even that song um, said, uh, what was the, I mean, that song is important. Uh, when I look it up, I'll obviously have to find out what it was called. Um, but you may know that song and be like, Bubba, it's this. Um, you may hear that song on the radio or you may, uh, you know, the new person may send you that song. Uh, the song is important. Everything that comes up in my readings, images, sounds, they're all important. Okay. Um, so watch out for those. Um, now the sun, I do feel like there's a new person here who will do anything for the union. Um, obviously they got, oh my gosh, we got the six of cups again. Scorpio, you can't write it. I, I'm shuffling the cards. You see me shuffling the cards. None of this is orchestrated. Six of cups is showing up again. You have a choice. Um, there is someone who cannot let you go. There is someone who wants to remind you of their presence in your present moment. They love you. They Now, this could be a twin. This could be a twin flame. Twin flames are, you know, uh, they're not very, It's twin flames are not romantic journeys in love, okay? They are very difficult journeys that push us, force us into spiritual sort of revelations and allow us to grow. And growth can be a very painful experience. So we attribute painful experiences with twin flames. So it could be that your twin is coming back around for another cycle. So watch out for that. But Six of Cups, I mean, it's showing up every time I shuffle. Uh, can you show me uh, the other person? Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, there's more cups there. So there's a high level commitment. Okay, there's someone here that you will also find a lot of total love and support. Uh, you may even have a family with this new person. There's definitely an energy with that Ten of Cups of uh, being more fulfilled in a new relationship with somebody new. Okay, and this new person is coming on in there in the next four to five weeks. You will meet this person. Uh, they're going to come into your life. Uh, you're, they're divinely guided, so they will find a way into your life, even if you don't get like... Um, an invitation but I really feel like um, 
being invited to something that requires a ticket and them talking about a diary is a catalyst to inform you, my beautiful Scorpio, that your love life is changing. Okay, and it's changing for the better. Uh, Ten of Cups is like the top trump card in love. If you want love, that is you being totally loved up. Okay, so I definitely see love coming your way. Um, and you do have a choice. It's about using your intuition to make the right choice. Now, of course, the past sometimes can be very magnetic, especially if nobody new has shown up right now. Um, I would say, because uh, I've been here before myself, you know, uh, sometimes the past is alluring because you feel like, oh, well, there's no other options right now. Maybe I could just, you know, play around with this for a little bit or maybe, you know, it's nice to get a bit of attention or it's nice to even get clarity on what happened in that past relationship or try to sort of work things out and, you know, find out the truth of what really went on. Sometimes we can do it because there's nothing else about. So I would just say be mindful of that. You're changed. You've evolved. You're more mature when it comes to love. And I definitely see a new love entering your life that is going to bring you a lot more fulfillment. Okay. So uh, it's your choice, my beautiful Scorpio. Um, I can never make that choice for you. I can show you that there are options. Uh, I'm just going to go and get some final cards for you. Thank you so much for it, guys. Going angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? What are they meant to be aware of? Anything more? They show me a sunflower in the water. Okay, they show me a sunflower right now. So either you can see a, flower, a sunflower or the image of a sunflower. Okay, infinity. They want one more. That's number 18. And baby. Okay, now some of you, for example, um, may have had a child with someone in the past. And that's why there's some sort of connection there. This person still harbors feelings for you. Um, but also, if you're looking to have um, a, a child or not, um, you know, I feel like you can have a family with this new person. Um, also, there may be some sort of childhood wounding. Now, I'm going to pull a card on this just to make sure because um, sometimes when we go through experiences in our uh, childhood, um, we can witness parents divorcing or, you know, there could be a parent that leaves or cheats or, um, you know, maybe you uh, grew up in the system and, you know, um, those experiences influence the way we operate when it comes to love. OK, so they are also situations to look at when it comes to you opening your beautiful heart to the whoa, love that you truly deserve and desire. Now, I'm not looking at that card right now, but I feel like it is a chariot card because I get this energy of you moving forward at a pace. I'm going to go and get this card first. Five of Wands. Yeah, ha! we got the chariot card for sure. OK, so we've got the Five of Wands there, which is a card of competition. So you will have competition, rivalry for your affection. You get to choose, okay? Five of Wands is a card of sort of like, how can I put that? It's like, sometimes people come from left field and you try to understand them. But sometimes we gotta, un we gotta understand that we'll never get all the answers, okay? And it can make us feel sort of like all mixed up and but we have to honor ourselves in each moment. The Five of Wands also indicates that you've had to fight a lot when it comes to love. And I feel with the Chariot card, this indicates that difficulty, you're moving away from difficulty when it comes to love, okay? Um, now, I was clarifying the baby card there. So I get this energy of someone that perhaps you were connected to regarding, um, Maybe you had a miscarriage with that person or you had a baby with that person. Uh, this is someone that, uh, and this is not all Scorpios, but I'm just getting a small percentage of Scorpios out there who feel conflicted about moving on from a situation because you have some sort of connection that involves children. It can also be that when you were a child, you witnessed a lot of conflict, a lot of arguing, a lot of like, um, you know, your first idea of love was not a content and happy one. And I feel like a lot of you may have been getting closure on that and moving away from it so that you can move on and be happy when it comes to love. Because love does not have to be pain. Love does not have to be a fight, okay? Now, the first card we got here is infinity. Uh, have you noticed that you're getting a lot of signs and symbols and synchronicity in different decks for you? So there are infinite possibilities to, for you to find love. 
but I feel like an infinity sign is important as well for you, okay? I'm going to read from the book. It's number 18. 18 is the moon card, which is all about fear, illusion. Uh, it is about intuition. Um, so let's see what it is here for you. It says, your connection to the universe is limitless. You've received this card because the universe wants to inform you that you are blessed with the gift of an abundant and never-ending connection to source energy. Infinity is a natural state of being and you're connected to a limitless supply of life-changing energy in whatever way, shape, or form you require. The most important thing to remember is that you think what you create. I said that right at the beginning. It's so important. Your manifestation card is the most important card. It's your first card. So what you think about, you bring about. If you feel like you're not going to find love, then you're right because you lose the momentum or the motivation to find it. And also, it's like a self uh you know, foreseeing prophecy. So be mindful of what you're thinking. If you're giving up on love, then, you know, love does not want to give up on you. But the more you think about it, the more you'll bring about, okay? It says this card represents the infinite connection to the universe and all that is contained with it, within it. Infinity can come in the form of infinite abundance, connection, love, health, joy, peace, finances, and happiness, to just name a few, okay? So your guys want you to be aware that you are loved that you deserve love and that love is coming. And also we've got baby. Okay, so let's read that. <clears throat> your prayers about your family have been heard and all is well. A lot of you, my beautiful uh, Scorpio, uh, you are overgivers, and uh, this, this is not from this book, um, but you are overgivers, and you tend to uh, put your family above your own needs sometimes. And whilst that is wonderful, and you know, I'm a carer as well, so I totally get it, um, you know, we sort of put our own needs on the back burner. But I feel over the next four to five weeks, you're really going to put yourself out there and find new opportunities to embrace new people or finding love. But I also feel like there's someone already who has feelings for you, okay? Um, it says here, you've received this card as you have questions about your family. It re represents a number of different messages from the universe. This card can represent fertility in a number of different forms. Have you had a question about a pregnancy for yourself or others? Have there been questions about pregnancy for a family member or for someone close to you? This is a gentle reminder from the universe that there is good news on the way, okay? Um, so, um, sorry, I'm just uh, reading the sentence that applies to you as well. Uh, the baby card also represents your current children if you have some. Um, so, um, it says the universe is aware of your gorgeous little soul and indicates that your baby is protected and safe. So, uh, it can also indicate that there will be an addition to your family, okay? But it is the Empress card, number three, which indicates that you are someone who is an overgiver or you are a carer when it comes to relationships. And they want you to um, be mindful that you're not there to fix another person, okay, my beautiful Scorpio? If you found that people have come into your life looking for love, but they're like a full-on project and they're always needing you to bail them out or fix them in some way, you are there to be loved and you are there to be passionate and, you know, sexy and kind and seen for who you truly are. You're not there to just mother a person or father a person, okay, or take care of their needs. Your needs also need to be met. So it's important that you uh, sort of readdress that if you feel like the balance is off. Now, this was a very complex reading, my beautiful Scorpio. I do hope something resonates in this reading for you. Uh, we've got a lot going on here. We've got that butterfly. Uh, which means transformation, you are in a period of evolution, you're becoming, which means you are ready for uh, love now. This is an indication that you have changed. Uh, we've also got the hands of hand, which is the, the, the indication of protection, okay? Your guides are protecting you. They're sending you a beautiful new love. Use your intuition. Um, you have been protecting your wonderful heart, but now your guides are putting you in a relationship where you will feel protected and safe to open up your heart. Also, we have a shell. Now, I, I get this energy from this shell. It's like come out of your shell, uh, sort of put yourself out there. It's time to allow yourself to, um, because it's like a cl clam shell. So it's like if you feel like you've just shut yourself away or life has presented opportunities where you're just working and you feel like you've been shut off from love, now is the time to open up to that because I just get this energy 
of you opening that shell of yours or opening yourself up. And also we've got made for an angel. We've actually got an angel indicating your guides are watching over you. They're guiding you on your journey and they are guiding you into the arms of someone new. Okay. So I will leave that there. I hope something does resonate in that reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Scorpio. Love and light.